making this video about the stories behind the stars, the Utah pilot, we're hoping to tell the stories of 2020 of the fallen from Utah in the year 2020. Let me give you a little bit of background about this project. So my name is Don Milne. About three years ago, I started uh, researching the stories of the people that uh, served during World War II and never came back. There's about there's more than 400,000 of them. And I decided, just as a pastime, to start doing this. And I started a blog called the WW2 Fallen 100. And the way I decided to do it was on the 100th birthday of someone that was born on that day, 100 years ago, I would just write a short profile about who they were. And one of the reasons I did this is because, although they may still be remembered by descendants, other family members, for the most part, these 400,000 people that never came back from the war have been forgotten. And in the day we have now with so much um, connection with the internet, um, that's a something I didn't think that that should continue. So I've been doing this, like I said, for more than three years. And this website here, I post one story every day. Um, down here at the bottom, you can see that there's been over a million people that have read these stories. Um, but as I was planning to wrap up this year on the 75th anniversary of the end of the war, which will be September 2nd, uh, I realized that at that point I'll just have like 1,300 stories, but that leaves out still those 400,000 that I didn't get to write about. And I think I'd calculated it'd take me like uh, almost 200 years to do this all on my own. So with some help from the Greatest Generations Foundation, um, I decided, why don't we make this a national project where people, just regular people like me, I'm not a trained historian or anything, I just have a interest in the subject, could write these stories of the World War II fallen. So I've made arrangements um, with uh, different groups to help support me on this, and I wanted to start a pilot to do every single one of the fallen from Utah. I picked that for a couple of reasons. First, I'm living here in Utah. Uh, there's a lot of resources and people that study um, family history in Utah, and it's also a fairly small state, so compared to some states like Pennsylvania and New York that had 30,000, 40,000 people that died during World War II. Um, Utah had a relatively small amount of about 2,000. We don't know quite for sure because there isn't any really strong record in one place. So what I'm calling our project here is telling the stories of 2020 and 2020 because I have a list of 1,750 or so that I've got from an organization called Honor States. And so they were kind enough to give me this database. Here's the number 1759. So minus the uh, header row. That's that many people that we have records of who served and died during World War II that were associated with the state of Utah. So what I would like to see happen is have stories written about each one of these individuals. Now, the uh, organization Fold3.com which is uh, owned by Ancestry.com, has agreed to help me with this project. And anybody that wants to help write these stories um, will be given a membership so that they can have access to these records. Now, these are the ones that I've started to add into the uh, uh, Fold3 Memorial so that they'll be here for people to see. Uh, we can see from their dates that they're from different places. Uh, William Ford's from Louisiana. Howard Cross is from Texas. Leonard Hewlett is from Utah, so he would be one of the uh, 2020, 2020 and 2020 that we want to write about. If I click his name, um, this is his full three um, profile. And over here is a story I wrote about him. It's not super long. It's kind of cool that he was a distinguished flying cross hero, um, glider pilot. Um, but if you were to do some scanning on the internet, um, you might be able to find some details on them, but I kind of grouped all this stuff together and put it in one place. And now there'll be a record going forward for people to find out the information about Leonard Hewitt. Um, something that we're going to be including um, in the future, um, once we get this project farther along, is we're going to develop a smartphone app. So you could go visit Leonard Hewlett's gravestone right here. Here's 
is Gravestone. You would take your smartphone, you would scan it using the app, and it would link you to his story. And we would like to have that available for everybody that served in World War II. So there's more than 400,000 400, of these nationwide. There's about 2,000 probably in Utah. So I've created some training videos here that people can use to learn how to do the research. It takes about, on average, about 45 minutes to do one of these profiles. And I think that there's probably enough people, I mean, there's not, I'm realistic to know there's not millions of people that want to do a project like this, but I think there's probably a few hundred, maybe a few thousand that see the value and want to honor um, our fallen heroes. We still have some of them living with us today, but they're not going to be here much longer. And I think it would be a great gift to them to let them know before they're all gone that uh, we as a nation took the steps to make a permanent remembrance of all their friends that never made it home. Um, those that are now reaching 100 years old in a lot of respects, um, they had the best of both worlds as coming home as heroes and then enjoying the many blessings of living in a free country. So anyway, if you want to help out with this project, um, we would have you go to the website, storiesbehindthestars.org, and down here there's a button that says Tell a Hero Story. If you press that button, um, you'll go over to this page here. You'll just give us your email address, your name, what state you're from, send it in. We'll send you a little more information. We'll see if uh, uh, answer any questions you have. And if it looks like it's something you want to participate in, I think you'll find it's a wonderful, enriching, and uh, great experience for you. And it would be a great way to honor those that uh, made America what it is today. So um, that's my pitch. And I'm hoping that uh, if you hear this video, you'll go to storiesbehindthestars.org and uh, go to that uh, form, fill it out get in contact with me, and hopefully you can help tell the stories of these fallen heroes. Thanks for listening.